guys, Sergio from Pounding Flip Gaming. Appreciate you joining me again today. And I want to continue with my uh, Pinball Tech uh, video series, um, particularly a follow-up to yesterday's uh, video where I showed you guys how to connect uh, a solenoid to the KL Shield, which ultimately connects to your uh, Pinscape. And so you're all wondering, okay, great. Uh, now we know how to connect, obviously, uh, toys, uh, solenoids, uh, whatever you want to call them, to these uh, MOSFET boards and to the... Uh, Pinscape, but how do we make it all work together? And so today we're going to talk about the software end of it. And uh, I'm going to try to be brief to the point, although I think this might turn into a 20 minute video by the time it's all said and done, but hopefully uh, it helps answer a lot of the questions. Uh, I do know that some of you get stumped um, on the software portion of it. I know I did. I definitely didn't have, uh, you know, the, the video guides to, to help me. And that's one of the reasons why I want to try to reach out to, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people wanting to get into the uh, hobby and building a VPN cabinet and making it easier for them. So um, let's uh, stop to chatting. Uh, the first order of business is, uh, and again, I'm going to leave links to, to, to everything I'm, I'm speaking of below. So don't worry about it. Two main components we're going to need is basically MJR's DOF R3. Uh, software and the Pinscape uh, software as well. Okay, so you're going to download um, the uh, as per the links I'm going to leave below. Uh, once you download um, those two pieces of software, you're going to be uh, uh, left with uh, direct output MJR MSI and your Pinscape config tool. Okay. Uh, this is very easy uh, for the Pinscape config tool. Um, create a um, uh, create a, a folder uh, on your C drive called Pinscape. And all you're going to do is extract all those files from that uh, zip file you just downloaded and extract it into this folder. That's it. That's all you're doing. Very easy. Um, the uh, DOF R3, once you, um, you don't extract it, but you double click on the installer and it's going to guide you from A to Z. It only takes you like five minutes and it's going to create a direct output uh, folder where it's going to extract uh, the files inside the folder for you. OK, so that's all we need uh, to worry about for now. So uh, going back to the Pinscape, you have uh, your Pinscape folder. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Uh, there it is. And the one file you're going to be particularly interested in is your config tool exe. Double click that and it's going to bring you into this page. So if you're setting up your Pinscape for the very first time, you click on set up a new key, a KL25Z and you click it's brand new and it's going to guide you through the steps that you need uh, to set up the Pinscape. It's very, very simple. There's, there's nothing that you could do wrong. Uh, once that's all done, uh, there's a few things uh, that we can look at, and I don't want to get too in-depth. I can make a different video uh, if you guys would like, you know, going through the different options of the Pinscape. But the one or the three key things that you need to pay attention to is basically which version of the, the Pinscape you're using. We're using the standalone version. Make sure you select it. Um, your orientation. This being the back box uh, towards obviously you know uh, the back of the machine, make sure that you, however you have your Pinscape mounted, make sure you pick the right orientation. This is very important. Otherwise, things won't work properly when you try to nudge and tilt and all that good stuff. Um, the one cool thing about this is uh, if you're using a plunger, you can set up your plunger uh, right through the software. It is very very easy to set up. And likewise, if you don't want to use a launch ball button, uh, you want to keep your buttons on your cap to a minimum, you can enable the ZV ball launch. And um, again, very easy to set up. And what this does is by pushing the plunger forward, it acts as a, a trigger button and it launches the ball. That's the way I have it set up on my cab. I didn't want a ZB ball launch, or sorry, I didn't want a, a launch ball button, although I added it to my cousin's cab and it, it does add some, you know, uh, authenticity to it because in games like Medieval Madness, the launch ball button will flash just like the real machine. Uh, but again, if you want to keep things to a minimum, a ZB ball launch uh, will, be, will be your best friend. 
And last, um, what you want to look at is the feedback device outputs. And so I already monkeyed around with this, but I'll explain to you guys the way this works. Um, on my last video, I explained to you that there's different uh, ports on the Pinscape. There's digital, there's PWM. I believe it's port, uh, oh, oh, I forget. Pulse width modulation um, is a proper terminology for this, which means absolutely nothing to you guys. But the PWM ports, you can hook up anything from like uh, buttons, like the, the launch ball button that have uh, a built-in light bulb. You can adjust the intensity of the light bulb, uh, brighter or darker. Um, and then you can hook up a shaker to it. You can hook up a fan. Anything that has a you know variable uh, speed, um, you you can and should hook up to the PWM port. Your digital output is just basically for contactors, beacons, um, you know, uh, solenoids, stuff that doesn't have adjustable speeds to it. Uh, voltages to it it's just basically you know a uh, one trick pony if you will uh, the nice thing about this is that if you go into uh, let's say where it says digital if you click on it uh, it brings up the list of ports and it tells you exactly um, which ports are in use um, you know obviously over here in use pwm in use available and selected um, we don't have anything connected to this obviously but for example if you wanted to switch uh, a PTA one uh, to a PWM, you could. Uh, likewise for any other uh, ports that you see here. So say um, port number one, we connected our solenoid, our left uh, slingshot. You're gonna, you know, write in the description here. Make sure that you enable the uh, active low port. Uh, second uh, port will be our shaker. We're gonna assume we have a shaker hooked up to it. And then your port number three is going to be your fan. Okay. Again, make sure that, um, you know, your active low ports are set. Uh, and that's it. That's all we're doing here. Once this is done, um, you know, you program the KL Shield. Sorry, the KL25Z, uh, the, the Pinscape. And there you go. It's fully programmed. It's done. Good to go. Now it's waiting for the device to reboot. You let it do its thing. And once this is done, you are good to go. Um, if you wanted to test uh, your outputs to make sure they're working, uh, you can go back into your home menu, select outputs where the purple light bulb is. And over here, you'd hit on, or you click on uh, to test them, but we don't have anything connected to them. And you can see here, both the shaker and the fan have a slider, which adjusts the intensity uh, or speed, if you will. Now, pay attention to what you've done here. Ports number one, two, and three, we know we have left slingshot, shaker, and fan, okay? So keep this in mind. We're gonna minimize this. And so the next step uh, that we're going to do is you're going to go, uh, okay, I'm trying to minimize this over here. Uh, it's not working. So basically what you wanna do is uh, Google DOF config tool, which could be found through uh, your VP universe, uh, create an account. You're gonna, you're gonna want to create an account. Um, I'm already obviously logged in. Um, you're gonna go into port assignments, and under port assignments, uh, what you want to do is, I, I believe, if you have your Pinscape hooked up to it, it's only gonna give you an option to select Pinscape one direct output config ini 51. That's all you want to do. And then if you remember ports one, two, and three, as far as what you have connected to it, this is where you would input that information. So port number one, we'd have, uh, what do we have for port number one? Uh, we have, uh, of course, no, it's not gonna work. Does it just make too much sense? There we go. Uh, left slingshot. So basically you would select your left sling here. So slingshot left. Your port number two would be your shaker. So you select your shaker. And then port number three would be your fan. And you'd hit a, and you just select fan, which is right there. Once that's done, you save your config file and then you generate the config. And this takes about 30 seconds. And what this is going to do is if we go back into my download section here, I already have this. 
and it's going to give you a direct output config zip. And what you want to do is you want to extract the contents here into your C drive. And if you remember at the beginning of the video where um, I said, or at least I believe I said, um, when you run the installer, that MSI installer, it's going to create a direct output folder and you just basically extract all the contents there. I already have you know, my files in there. It's asking me to overwrite. I'm gonna say yes. Um, and if you go back into your config file now, uh, direct output folder, um, all the files are here. Everything that you've just extracted, including all the information um, you know, from the Pinscape is all listed here. And the last missing piece to getting your DOF working, um, which is often overlooked, is basically your direct output folder. Make sure that you copy it. Go into your visual pinball uh, folder in your C drive or wherever you have it uh, you know, set. Go into your tables folder, click your plugins. I already have the file here, but just basically paste the shortcut and it's going to uh, look something uh, like this. And that's it. That's all you need to get DOF working uh, on your VPN cab. And it's as simple as that, guys. Um, you know, of course, there's, like I said, there's more to it on, on the Pinscape level of it. Um, but this, you know, this is the nuts and bolts of, of uh, you know, getting uh, everything working. So uh, hopefully you guys found the video useful. Uh, I definitely enjoyed making it. Um, if you like this kind of content, hit the uh, like and subscribe button. If there's any other videos you guys want me to make, uh, feel free to reach out. And likewise, if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. So, guys, thanks again for watching. And until next time, uh, happy pinballing.